First, we have the congressman from the great state of Georgia, Buddy Carter. Congressman, good to see you. Good to be with you. So let's get your thoughts on uh, Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle. J just your thoughts or her lack of response. We heard that fiery clip from Congresswoman Mace. Uh, your, your, your thoughts on the investigation this far? Thus far, I think she's failed miserably in, in, in explaining what happened. And there's no question about it. She needs to go. She needs to leave. She needs to, if she's not going to resign, she needs to be fired. There's no question about that. This was a total failure. Whether it was a Republican, a Democrat, or an Independent, it doesn't matter. The Secret Service has failed the American people. And then to hear that, that the Trump administration, or the Trump team, I should say, was asking for more help and asking for more coverage and they weren't granted that, you know, this is a, a total failure. And listen, when you're in charge, you're responsible. She was in charge. She's responsible. She needs to go. I couldn't agree with you more there. I want to move on to this, Congressman, because last month you sent a letter to the White House Chief of Staff regarding President Biden taking a cognitive test. Now, of course, we know that Biden has officially dropped out. However, do you still want that cognitive test? Because once again, he is going to serve as our president until the end of the year, until January, through January. Yes, I think it is. It is very, very important that we have that cognitive test. If he's look, if he's not capable of running for re-election, is he capable of serving and for pre as president for the next six months? I mean, that's a that's a big. That is the most. That, that is the most important job in the world and the most demanding job in the world. And you have to be physically and mentally capable if you're going to perform that function, whether it be for one month or six months or for four years. So, yes, he should take that test. If he's not, then he should be replaced. And we just got word breaking news right now from Biden's doctor that uh, he's feeling better and he has every intentions to continue on to the end of the presidency. So, though we've we, we've heard statements before, and then say, he you know dropped what? Out the race. Not taking any bets. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who knows? Uh, let, let's touch on this. this. And this here, Congressman, a big part of everything that's transpired. The Democrat Party they have been doing this for years, harping on democracy and Donald Trump and MAGA threat to democracy. You released a statement about them dismissing. The 14 million voters that voted for Biden in the primaries, he goes down in the polls, and the top Democrats say, hey, Joe, you got to go. Thanks uh, for the service here. Your thoughts on that? Oh, absolutely. Look, 14 million American voters have been disenfranchised by the, by the leadership in the Democratic Party. I mean, they're... Their choice for the nominee for the Democratic Party has been replaced. And who's responsible for this? You've got to be held responsible if you had something to do with this. And the number one person who's most, most responsible for hiding his cognitive decline, his mental decline, is right there on the screen, Kamala Harris. She should be held responsible more so than anyone. She should have been jumping up and down and hollering, look, this, he cannot do this job. He's not capable. But what did we hear from the bosses in the White House. They were covering up for him. And I might add, if you read the Wall Street Journal today, you saw I had a letter to the editor that indicated the media also was covering this up. You know, they were trying to tell us uh, when he was falling, when he was making gaffes, when he was trying to shake hands with imaginary people. Oh, no, no, no. He's fine. He's fine. They were trying to tell us the economy was fine while my people in South Georgia were trying to make a decision between buying groceries or buying gas. They were trying to tell us that crime was was fine, that the border was fine. All of that was a cover-up. Why wasn't the media uncovering that? Why wasn't the White House uncovering that? And most of all, why wasn't Kamala Harris? Why wasn't she saying something about this? Uh, uh, co uh, Congressman, we, we have to say goodbye, but I just want to take something there, that what you're saying. So Kamala Harris, as you're implying, was complicit and aware of everything involved in the cover-up. However, now American voters are supposed to trust mm. her as she runs but for why president. Would trust our borders are. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to have to leave it there. Great point. Thank you, Congressman. Stop back soon. Thank you. All right.